Decade to decade, season to season, and even day to day, Earth's rotation speeds up and slows down, shaving off or adding milliseconds to our 24-hour count every day. On 29 June, the Earth recorded its shortest day since the adoption of the atomic clock standard in 1970. It was recorded at 1.59 milliseconds in less than 24 hours. According to a study published in 2020, a normal day on Earth about 70 million years ago was around 23 and a half hours. Scientists say that this is a normal variation. Stay till the end to find out whether the days are getting shorter or longer. Welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we keep you up to date with the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you will be notified of all my future uploads. The average rotation of Earth has been slowly speeding up for more than half a century and gradually skimming fractions of a millisecond off our days. This shortening of day length, seasonal effects on Earth's rotation, and a little extra boost from daily climate effects such as changes in winds combined to make June 29th a record-breaker day. It is all because of the powerful principles of physics, called conservation of angular momentum. It is something that many of us automatically understand. Earth is continuously redistributing mass and angular momentum, including the solid rock beneath our feet, the oceans, and the atmosphere. It means that its rotation rate and day length are also adjusting. The geodesist of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, John Lee Chen, says that length of the day is a measure of the whole Earth. It is not just one number. You can tell a lot of stories behind it. A contributor to June 29th's 1.59 millisecond deficit and one of the most powerful controls on the rotation of Earth throughout the year is the wind. It is mainly the strong jet stream winds in the northern hemisphere. A geodesist at the University of Vienna, Sigrid Bohm, explains that whenever they get stronger, the angular momentum of the atmosphere increases and the solid Earth angular momentum decreases. Scientist Views A tweet that was shared nearly 35,000 times claimed that they broke the news of Earth spinning faster which seems like it should be bigger news. We are so desensitized to catastrophe at this point, it's like, well, what's next? Some Twitter users reacted to these tweets with jokes as well as disbelief about the magnitude of the measurement. However, others showed worries about how it would affect them. Scientists told that the rotational speed of Earth varies constantly and that the record-setting measurement is nothing to panic over. A scientist and project manager at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, Stephen Merkowitz, said that it's a completely normal thing. There's nothing magical or special about this. It's not such an extreme data point that all the scientists are going to wake up and go, what's going on? An emeritus professor of planetary science at the California Institute of Technology, Andrew Ingersoll, also agreed with this assessment. He wrote in an email to the AP saying that the Earth's rotation varies by milliseconds for many reasons. None of them are cause for concern. The minor increase in rotational speed does not mean that days are going visibly faster. Berkowitz described that standardized time was once determined by how long the Earth takes to complete its one rotation, which is generally to be 24 hours. However, that speed varies slightly so that number can vary by milliseconds. The scientists of the 1960s started working with atomic clocks to measure time more precisely. Merkowitz said that scientifically, the official length of a day now equivalences the speed of one full rotation of the Earth to the time taken by atomic clocks. The International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service, an association that maintains global time, may fix the difference by adding a leap second if those measurements get too out of sync. So can Earth's faster rotation affect our clocks or electronics? The time we follow is dictated by coordinated universal time, and it is accountable for setting your time zone. This time is reliant on how long the Earth takes to complete one rotation and is known as astronomical time. To keep up with Earth's pace and coordinate clocks with it, the people who watch the Earth's rotation and the world's clock for a living will have to propose a leap second as the rotation speed picks up. About 27 leap seconds have been introduced to maintain the integrity of time due to inaccurate observed solar time and UTC. However, the last one was in 2016. As the leap second could lead to large-scale and disturbing tech issues, some engineers disagree with its introduction. Meta-engineers Oleg Oblukov and Ahmad Byagoi wrote a blog post about it for Meta, which is supporting an industry-wide effort to stop future introductions of leap seconds. They told CBS News that the negative leap, second handling, has been supported for a long time and companies like Meta often run simulations of this event. However, it has never been verified on a large scale and will likely lead to unpredictable and devastating outages across the world. 
Moreover, a radio astronomer at the Jodrell Bank Center for Astrophysics at the University of Manchester, Dr. Alastair Gunn, says that, although it will not affect our daily lives, there could be serious implications for technology such as GPS satellites, smartphones, computers, and communication networks, all of which rely on extremely accurate timing systems. But such problems are ultimately surmountable, perhaps simply by subtracting a leap second rather than adding one. Are you wondering whether we should be worried about this? A retired director of time at the U.S. Naval Observatory, Dennis McCarthy, says that our day-to-day -day existence doesn't even recognize that millisecond. But if these things add up, then it could change the rate at which we insert a leap second. McCarthy says that when milliseconds build up over time, a leap second is added to the clock so our time matches Earth's. 27 leap seconds have been added to the clock since 1972. Scientists say that earthquakes might cause changes in the Earth's rotation. According to geophysicist Richard Gross at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, the Great Tohoku earthquake of 2011 was said to speed up the rotation by 1.8 microseconds and move the Earth's figure axis by about 6.5 inches. Gross told Space.com that by changing the distribution of the Earth's mass, the Japanese earthquake should have caused the Earth to rotate a bit faster, shortening the length of day by about 1.8 microseconds. Additionally, he said that, this shift in the position of the figure axis will cause the Earth to wobble a bit differently as it rotates, but will not cause a shift of the Earth's axis in space. Only external forces like the gravitational attraction of the Sun, Moon, and planets can do that. Other Possibilities of Its Cause Supposedly, the decades-long trend comes from the side effects of Earth not being spherical, an effect known as the Chandler Wobble. It occurs because the axis around which our planet rotates doesn't quite line up with its actual geometric axis of symmetry, which causes the rotational axis to keep trying to adjust. This change may also have a role in determining day length, but how important of a role may remain an open question. By using mathematical models and measurements of our planet collected by spacecraft, scientists unpacked the contributions of all these processes. GPS satellites such as NASA's Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment measure the movement of mass on Earth over time. Likewise, models of the planet's climate comprising winds and ocean currents help predict the angular momentum effects of air and water. Bohm says that we always try to sum up all effects that we know and see if we can close the budget. Chen says that predicting how day lengths might change in the future is very complicated because everything is mixed up together. He explains that we have to understand the long-term, rather big variability first. Then we can estimate contributions from the atmosphere and ocean. Then we can roughly predict when the next shortest day could be. Yet, according to Chen, it was likely a brief climate phenomenon that helped June 29 break the record. It may just be a change in wind speeds in the atmosphere that gave it a little boost beyond the long-term and seasonal trends. According to Judah Levine, a physicist in the Time and Frequency Division of the National Institute of Standards and Technology, even with current decreases in the day's length over the last few years, days have been getting longer over the passage of several centuries. He additionally said that the recent trend was not predicted. However, it's nothing to worry about. Numerous variables affect the Earth's rotation, like influences from other planets or the Moon, as well as how Earth's mass redistributes itself. For example, according to Merkowitz, ice sheets melt and weather events create a denser atmosphere. Merkowitz said that the kind of incident that would move enough mass to affect the Earth's rotation in a way that is perceptible to humans would be something dire like the planet being hit by a giant meteor. Considering all the facts about the leap second, do tell us your views in the comments section on whether it should be added yearly. If you liked our content, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future updates. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.